All right, so we're continuing our journey towards a better understanding of the base 12 version of pi by looking at this base 12 dodecagon. And I'm explaining to you how we can use this pattern to come up with the diagram that generates 360 degrees. So what we're going to do in this video is look at another way of connecting all those points that, are, that make up the inner ring of the dodecagon. So what we're going to do is connect them in such a way that we generate some circles. So the first circle we're going to look at is the one from, that comes from the line. It's in units of square root of 2. It goes right through the center of the pattern. So that uh, radius of that circle is going to be 0.96 root 2. So we can see what that circle looks like, how it's basically weaving itself between the other points of, this, of the pattern. And we can see the square root version of that number. 0.96 squared is 0.763. So square root of 0.763 times the square root of 2, get the answer of the square root of 1.306. So that's the radius of that particular circle. So now we're going to look at the outer um, circle that's formed by the eight points that make up the, in a way, the corners of the pattern. So we looked at that triangle already. The hypotenuse of this triangle becomes the radius of that circle. So we can see that's the square root of 1.41. And then we're going to look at the inner circle that's um, defined by the points that are on the x and y axis. So these points are, uh, the, the radius of that point is 1.1. So 1.1 squared is 1.21. So the radius of that circle is the square root of 1.21. So we can look at all three circles together. This is what that looks like. And we can see the there's some real symmetry there or a real pattern evolving where the outer ring is the square root of 1.41 and the inner ring is the square root of 1.21, and then the middle ring, although it's not 1.31, 1.306 introduces the idea of 0 0.006 being a unit that that entire ring is you know, built in units of, so to speak. So I'm just gonna leave it there for now because I wanna address the question of what is the circumference of a circle actually made from? Currently, our definition of a circle or the circumference of a circle is that it's made up of dimensionless points and that all, the, all those points are equally distant from the center. And it raises the question, is it possible to actually build a circle out of only dimensionless points? I just want to put that idea out there. there we are going to be building our perfect circle out of units of 0.5 root 2. So there is a little bit of thickness there, but that thickness of the circumference gets very, very thin as the circle gets larger and larger. So you're going to see that pattern emerge as we continue to use the geometry of the dodecagon to build our perfect circle. So I hope you can join me for those future videos. Thanks for watching.